Greetings, people of the interwebs, and uh, welcome uh, to what may seem as a slightly unfamiliar, um, unfamiliar backdrop. Um, we are, you are, well, we are, I'm just me. Um, there's nobody else here, except Tony. Tony's here. Uh, where is Tony? Oh, Tony's in boot. Um... As I was saying, you join me and us in an unfamiliar surrounding of the of the Honda today. Um, we are part way down uh, to begin our our tiny two day trip to see Alex of Alex's assets. Um, so hopefully, hoping to get some some nice footage of what immense car she has, um, and also some crazy antics, which are bound to ensue because it's Alex and me. We do crazy, crazy stuff happens all the time. Um, yes. Uh, so, yes, um, let's get on with the journey. Stop rambling. Um, because I've got carrot cake waiting for me, apparently. And I need to... Uh, I, I failed in getting carrot decorations. Um, but, yes, there we go. Greetings people of the interwebs and uh, welcome to another Smashing Pistons adventure video. I think it's an adventure. I'm not too sure. I've been brain numbed from driving for so long in a... I was going to call it a Euro box but it's not even a Euro box anymore is it? Um, you might recognise this, this car's butt um, and you might recognise this brick wall if you're a, a specific uh, brick wall enthusiast. Um, but uh, I shall, I shall reveal all in a few. I'll, I won't reveal anything actually. I'll just show you what where I am. So this might give you a clue as to uh, where we are. Um, it's Jesse, and um, yeah, obviously we're at Alex's. I think I think I might have already said that, but uh, yeah, Alex's driveway is literally a a yard of candy, candy car candy maybe. So we've got Jesse. Um, and then we've got, um, maybe we just call this the yellow one, I don't know whether Raym is giving it a name, uh, but one of his two ZS180s, in a very nice yellow, trophy yellow I think it's called. Um, and then I've just been fanboying over this this 75 Tora, and uh, telling Alex that I, I regretted getting rid of mine, which ironically I got rid of because I got a ZS. Very strange. But uh, Al ah. Alex has just moved a nipple. My nipple's moved. Oh. Oh, I'm so happy. Fantastic. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to free off my bleed nipple on my P6 front caliper. And um, I haven't got a blowtorch. I've just got this Black & Decker heat gun that I got from a car boot. And it worked. Woohoo. Congratulations. <laughs> Hello, Simon. Hello. <laughs> You've got rest of it to put together now, though. I know. I was just about to say something, but I'll let you carry on. No, no, you, you, you stay away. I was just moaning about the state of my garage. I don't know whether this is going to work, because I don't know where you're looking. Hello. I um, can't remember what I was going to say now. <laughs> so we'll have a look around. Is it Mr Jenkins? This is Mr Jenkins. Um, the purple P6? Yes. Purple pe people eater. <laughs> the pe people, pu purple people eater, or the purple, no, the people purple eater. What's purple that you can eat? Blueberries, they're purple. Aubergine! Oh. They're purple, aren't they? That, the so tell, <laughs> us a, tell us a bit about Mr Jenkins, because people who watch your channel will know all about Yeah, them. but not on your channel. Not on my channel, because like three people that watch my channel. Well, I might have already purple. stolen those, so you've probably got no yeah, one now. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Mr Jenkins, he's 1967 Rover P6 2000. Is a four cylinder automatic, three speed automatic, might I add. Three? Three speed. Wow. I know. 
warp factor. <laughs> <laughs> and it literally stays in first gear for just seconds as you pull away. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's like two speeds. Mm -hmm. Two speeds. You can actually, it's, it's got D1 and D2. And D1, it sets off in first gear, so you go first, second, third. Right. If you put it in D2, it starts off in second, so you only have two gears. Okay, is that like for snow and stuff? Um, they say it's more economical for like town driving and stuff. Okay. But to be honest, with the four cylinder, you always need that first gear to help it pull along. With is the it, V8s, it's different. Is it a heavy car then? Um, I don't think it's as heavy as my P4 out there. Okay. Because um, it's, it's, well, the bonnet and the boot are aluminium, the rest of it's steel, but it's all bolt on panels. It's, it's a skeleton frame. It, it doesn't have like a chassis or anything and none of the panels are welded on. Every single panel unbolts, even the roof. Bloody hell. So, yeah, and that, that's, one of, that's one of the reasons I got it. Well, I like it because, you know, if you have a prang in it, you just pop another wing on. <laughs> you, you know, with my Mark I Capri I used to have, I, I had to cut the wing off of that. And when you start cutting, it, it, it sort of warps the panel and it, oh, it's a pain in the back so. I'm glad you're not thinking of prang in the roof though, that'd be... <laughs> it would it's be a pain. Of the roof. It you, would you know be you're a in pain. trouble somewhere. <laughs> Even the engine's purple. Yeah, years ago I painted the rocker cover with hammerite. Purple hammerite. I can't get purple hammerite anymore. Oh, wow. Is that because you've leaves. used it all? I've used, yeah, I have. <laughs> Took out shares in it. <laughs> <laughs> How's that working? <laughs> what? How's that working out for you? Oh, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> bad. <laughs> We'll just have a quick look down the side of Mr. Jenkins. Yeah, sorry it's really messy in here. That's what a garage should be like. If, if it don't look like this, it's not a real garage. But we've got a roof rack. Yes, that's an official P6 roof rack, optional extra. It's shaped to do, go with the slope of the roof. Ooh. I'm getting tool and milk all them toolboxes down there. <laughs> it used to be Zircon Blue. What? When I got it. Oh, this. The car, yeah, yeah. not not the toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it needed a full respray, so I thought, why not? The car's not. Um, at the time, it wasn't. It was a worthless car. I bought it for three hundred or quid. So, the thought of keeping it original was not on my mind. I was like, well, what colour do I want it? Mm. And I I just chose this purple, and I love it. It looks nice. I can't wait to see it when it's done. Yeah, when it's clean and when it's back outside. And it's got wings on it and things like that. Yeah. Well, you're going to put wings on it. Yeah. I'm not just going to leave it. It's like going to fly. <laughs> I um, just leave it like that. <coughs> oh, it's a lot, lot, lot more lightweight, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Less to clean. Yeah. <laughs> I've done the. You've got your switch switched on. <laughs> Where are we? Right. So what we, is this? We were just talking about. Um, Cars and becoming attached to them, yeah. yeah. So, my feeling is, if you're a car person, you tend to do stuff to your own car. Yeah, um, you make it yours. Yeah, and that, well, as in like even just repairs and stuff. And I think that's what that's what makes me feel attached to a car. So I can imagine that this is like your third arm. Yeah, I mean, I've got more emotional attachment and history with this car than any house I've lived in, um, any other car, it, it, it's just me. It's like a, as you say, a, another limb. An extension of you. It is, yeah, and it makes me kind of sad that in all my YouTube career, which has been quite a while, yeah. I haven't really been out in this car. <laughs> People don't see me now and think of this car, whereas they used to. Right. This was always with me wherever I went. But since I started YouTube, I, this has been a bit poorly, so I haven't really gone anywhere in it. And then I got the P4 and I was getting grossed in doing that and going to take that out to show it off, to say, look what I've done. <laughs> um, so this just got put on the back burner and it makes me kind of sad because I never wanted it to be like that. That's how life goes there sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I see so many cars, like, you know, on, t on YouTube, telly, whatever, where the cars are just uh, rotting on the drive, yeah, yeah, yeah. and people won't sell them, because yeah. they'll be like, oh, one day I'll, I'll get it done. And I, I sort of feel like, oh no, if I become that person. <laughs> I, I don't think there's any danger of you ever becoming that person, is there really? 
Well, he's not outside and he's not rotting anymore. No, he's in pieces, but that's yeah. fine. But, um, as far as rot goes, I'm, I'm beating it. I've still got the dreaded deposts to do, which I haven't shown you yet. Deposts. Right, let me, let me try and use my technical skills to try Sorry and Sorry about the name that's making the noise. The very farting. Um, is that the bit behind the back door? Yes. <laughs> well done. <laughs> because it's weird on the P6 because the C and the D are, are both in the same place. Oh, I didn't know that. I kind of only half like layered or something. I don't okay. Know. But I'll show you those. Um, and then this this one inner wing here I haven't touched yet. I've give it a quick poke, and I think there's only one little bit of welding. But until we get the wire brush on it, we don't know. So that's the only dirty you keep corner. Away from them brake lines with that wire. I know. Oh, I got me shot. <laughs> yeah. Hey, where is it? Here we go. So I caught it with the wire brush, and then I looked at it and I thought, oh, it's a bit perished. I took it off, and then I was like, oh, it's a bit split. <laughs> so I'm very glad I changed that. So I'll probably change the other side as well. <laughs> The sign of a good garage is that you can't walk down side of a car without being super careful. Oh! <laughs> Look! Sorry, I'm just going to get That's distracted. Right. You get distracted by all my junk. Junk! There's a lot of tins that say shit on. Dad's mess. Actual shit. Actual shit. Yeah, Dad messed that tin Come up. In, should we not open that one then? No, don't, don't open that one. P6 shit. Oh. Yeah, there's quite a bit of shit around. Split pins. Look, this is some serious shit. Some serious shit. Look, and then I was showing, uh, I was showing, no, I weren't. I weren't showing it, it's not mine, it's bloody hell. We were looking at this earlier. It's a picture of a Porsche. <laughs> Possibly uh, a fake Porsche. Yeah, that's Mr. Jenkins. Yeah, in action. Whoa, oh, in action. Look at that glint off that bumper there. Beautiful. Bing. <laughs> is that you driving them? Yeah. You look very serious. Yeah, I was on the racetrack. Bloody Gotta be hell. serious. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on then. Show yes, going to show you my rotten post. So, uh, how are we going to do this? I don't know. Right. Um, you can open the door. I'll open the door. So that's that's depost there, and as you can see. Yeah. It's all a bit crusty. Oh yeah. Around oh, smell. important it's beautiful and it's mm. favourite smell. Down here is all bubbled. You can okay. hear it's crispy. Right, but that's the least of my worries, okay? Because this is just a skin. Yeah. So that can be changed. So if we come back out. So here's the post here. Okay. And as you can see, crusty. Oh there's some holes in it. And it's a bit Flexy. Yeah. <laughs> this is where the rear wing bolts on. To okay. Bolts. So is there actually is it structural that bit? There? Uh, yes. Okay. And if you come around, <laughs> you'll see the horrors that lie beneath. Uh, so um, this is all rock here. Uh, you can see. Uh, so it's a bit bright, isn't it? Uh, oh yeah. There we go. There it is. Helps if I'm pointing at it right. Where? Yeah. All rotten in there. So that's all got to be cut out and replaced. I'm dreading it. Are you going to do it? I'm hoping to do it possibly, well hopefully, with the help of a friend. Oh. <laughs> As moral support because there's two important things, two important things <laughs> doing that job. <laughs> Is um, one, you, you, when you weld the new bits back in, the door needs to shut again. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. important. Yeah. And the other important thing, obviously, is the rear wing's got to fit as well. Yeah, it's no good having bits <laughs> there if they don't so, fit. So, yeah, I've had a friend tell me that I should really make a brace up to go um, to bolt onto these bolts. Okay. And then bolt onto the door hinges. Right. So then you know where they go. If that makes ah, sense. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, whereas another friend was like, no, nah, no, nah, we don't need to do that. We'll just tack it in and then see if the wing fits. And if it doesn't, untack it and move it a bit. You know what? But I like friend number two's version better. Yeah, I know. I do as well. Yeah. Friend um, number two's got his, got his head screwed on. The, the reason is friend number one, Clive, if you're watching. <laughs> Actually, they're both called Clive. Oh. So, yeah, that could be confusing, but yeah. they'll know which Clive it is. Yeah. Um, He's saying bolt them onto the door hinge. Now, other Clive, number two, 
is saying don't do that because if you unbolt the, do unbolt the door hinge then the, you don't know where the door is going to be. Say, yeah. <laughs> he says at least with the door in place you know you can line everything up to go with that door. Yeah, I'd say that. So, in my completely professional opinion. <laughs> and plus, if it doesn't line up perfectly, it doesn't really matter because it's only Mr. Jenkins. <laughs>